Father Joe, uh, how did you hear the news this morning and, and what, was, what was your initial reaction? Quite amazing. I was out walking, taking my dog for a walk at 5.30 and a friend of mine rang me from Los Angeles to say, have you heard the news? I said, no, I went to bed early last night. And, um, yeah, I was um, surprised, quite surprised to hear that. Um, not shocked. I think um, there was a little, a few little thoughts recently that um, this may happen, that he may retire. And um, Tim Fish was talking about that this morning too, that the Pope had said at some stage he may retire. So not, not shocked, but surprised. And how do you think uh, parishioners um, will, will react? Well, I think with um, deep surprise, um, a pope hasn't, it's, it's, the pope doesn't usually retire. And especially our last pope who stayed on, uh, John Paul II, stayed on, who had Parkinson's disease and who lived with that and who died with that and was very, very sick. Now, I think for me, that was a beautiful example of the symbolic presence of a pope who perhaps taught us how to die, who showed us what it was to suffer and did it very publicly. Um, the church wasn't governed in a sense, but I don't think that mattered. On, on that. It was governed not by him, but by others, and I think that was good. Uh, this man is a, 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 almost the opposite model of saying, no, I'm getting old and frail and I need to retire. I think it honours retirement beautifully, that people who have retired will say, hey, you know, there's a life to retirement and even popes can retire now. I think it's um, very deeply inspirational. And then, of course, there's the unusual circumstance uh, equally unusual circumstance for the Church of how to deal with a former Pope. That's right. This, yes, we're rewriting all the books at the moment. <laughs> no one knows. So uh, he's indicated he will go and probably live in the Vatican in a quiet area there. He'll live at Castel Gondolfo, I think, for a while. And I think he'll just live a life of prayer. And I'm sure he'll write. He loves and loves to write. He's got a great mind. He's certainly one of the intellectuals of our modern world and he's been able to address parliaments and all over the world and, and get them thinking and he's got a lovely mind yeah I've enjoyed what he's written and I love his spirituality particularly so I hope he writes lots more of that he's just finished his third book on Christ um, written the third one and um, perhaps he's feeling well he can put away his um, mitre for a little while